Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how to create a really effective blog that will achieve good search ranking results and attract a lot of organic traffic. This video is a little long, but it will allow you to create a configuration where you can forget about all the problems of developing a blog for a long time. YouTube is full of videos on how to choose and register a domain name, choose hosting and deploy a WordPress site on it. I won't repeat this, but I want to talk about how to make a really working blog or news site that can be productive and efficient. We have created a huge number of blogs and during this time we were able to learn the critical points that prevent 95% of new bloggers from getting results. So today we'll discuss the following points. First, choosing a site template and why it's so important. Second, automatic content acquisition. Third, automatic SEO optimization. Fourth, automatic site speed increase. Okay, let's go. Choosing a site template and why it's so important. Many bloggers strive to make their blog or news site as beautiful and functional as possible, so that it has a bunch of sections with articles in different formats, a lot of social network plugins, simultaneous operation of several analytics counters, different JavaScript plugins, pop-up windows, and more. But this very often leads to problems related to the speed of the site. Since in order to generate a page, the engine needs to perform many operations with a database, caches, and the server. And the user's browser is forced to download a lot of unnecessary scripts and other garbage, which slows down the site, and waiting for a response from the server starts to take 1 or 2 seconds, and the pages themselves load in 10 or even 20 seconds, which is very long. Did you know that site speed is a critical ranking factor, often as important as content for example? Google will not index a page of a site that takes 1 or 2 seconds, instead it would rather spend the same time indexing 10 or 20 pages of another site that takes 100 or 200 milliseconds. Agree, indexing a fast site for Google is 10 or even 20 times more profitable than a slow site. Therefore, your theme should be very fast, or at least there should be a balance between speed and functionality. Select the theme, go to Appearance, Themes. Click Add New and search for the keyword News. And so, there is a list of themes, let's see how fast they work. Let's look at one of them, News24. The pages don't load as fast, although it's written that this theme is fast. Let's see another one. Yes, it works faster and is quite beautiful. Click install and activate it. Now let's see how it looks on our site. Everything is fine. Automatic content acquisition. Let's now get the content sources for our blog. Content is a key element in any blog or news site. There are tons of videos on YouTube on how to get content almost for free. As a rule, all this doesn't work, since it either requires a lot of your attention, or has low relevance and weak uniqueness. Therefore, we'll use a service that will generate content for us and will automatically take it to our blog. Let's go to ocontent.com. Register and log into your account. This service is very interesting and simple. All we need to do is choose the source from which OContent will take articles, and it will do the rest. First you need to activate the subscription. Let's take the blogger plan, which allows us to get 450 unique articles per month, while one article will cost us only 11 cents. We activate it with a trial period of 5 days. Great! Now let's create the sources. Go to Sources and click New Source. This package allows us to add 3 sources with the Google News type. Also on this service there are packages that allow you to receive content from absolutely any sites or even receive only new viral articles from the trend detector. The Google News type means that the service will look for articles for us on the Google News page. We only need to generate a Google News page once, on which new articles will appear. We decided that our blog would be about fitness. Let's go to Google News. Enter the keyword, fitness, into the search. There are many articles here, but most of them are already quite old. Therefore, we'll limit the display of new articles only. Open the advanced search and in the date field, enter past hour. 
We only see articles that have been published in the last hour. But this is too frequent, so I will manually increase this time to 6 hours by specifying when 6h. Fine. I also want this news to cover most of the workouts, so I'll add the word workout in the has words field. Fabulous. But I have noticed that Google News is constantly getting political, which is very suspicious, by the way. Therefore, we will exclude words related to politics. In the exclude words field, we'll add Ukraine, Russia, China, finance, politic. Now everything is as it should be. Do not forget to specify the region in the field on the left, English, United States. And now copy the resulting link. Click and press copy. We return to O content, and in the field, link to the Google News topic, we paste our link. Let's name our source, for example, fitness workout 6 hours. Let's choose the time how often O content will check our link for new articles. There is a cool option to generate articles with rich HTML code. We will leave the rest unchanged. Click Add. Great, now after some time, usually 10 to 15 minutes, we'll be able to see our articles in the list. Each article has a full unique text, image, keywords, etc. Cool, now our articles will automatically appear and we don't have to do anything else here. Let's check the uniqueness of this article. To do this, we need to copy some sentence and find it on Google in double quotes. So we type double quotes, paste in our text, and end with double quotes. There are no results for this sentence. Let's check another one. Again, nothing was found. Let's try one more. Same result. This means that we can use this article in our blog without any sanctions from search engines and monetization systems. We can just copy this text and put it on the site, but O content has the ability to do this automatically too. To do this, let's go back to the sources and find the RSS feed icon for our newly added source. It streams the last 100 full text articles from a given source. Very important information. This link doesn't require authorization, so anyone with it will have access to your articles, so make sure that the link does not go public. Let's copy this link. We return to our blog. Let's create a category if you haven't already. Let's go to the categories and add a couple of new categories, fitness and food. At the moment we are working as an admin. Let's create a new user. This will allow us to import articles as a user and not as an admin. For autoblogging, we need the WPay Matico plugin, find it and install it. Go to plugins and search for WPay Matico, namely WPay Matico RSS feed fetcher. Install and activate. We will use featured image from URL. For this we need to add the FIFU plugin. Install and activate. Now let's go to campaigns and add a new one. Let's name it O Content Fit. Workout lasts 6 hours. Click add feed and paste our link. Now we'll set up our import. We'll set how many articles will be imported in one run. We'll set 10 articles, but if your feed has already accumulated a lot of articles that have not yet been imported, you can increase this value for only first run, and change it back to 10 articles. This will avoid unnecessary load on your server. Let's choose our user. The rest of the options can be left unchanged. Next we specify the schedule of import runs, let it happen once per hour. Check the box, activate scheduling, and select preselected schedules, once per hour. Specify special settings for images. Check the box, don't use general settings, and set first image and content as featured image and another checkbox for use featured image from URL. In some themes, it happens that on the article page, a featured image is displayed separately before the main article. If so, you can check the remove featured image from content checkbox to avoid double displaying the image. If not, then don't check this box, otherwise the image will disappear from the article page. You can also specify store images locally to download images to your site. Now we need to specify that our articles fall directly into the fitness category will be able to send other sources to other categories. It remains only to press publish.
After that, we immediately see the time of the next run. If something was imported incorrectly and you need to reload the articles, first delete the blog articles and then click the Reset Post Count button on your campaign. Great, now we have content. Automatic SEO optimization. We need functionality that can automatically create descriptions, titles, snippets, and other things that are important for SEO. We go to the plugins, click Add New, right in the search, SEO. As always, there are tons of plugins here. We will look at one of the most popular, all in one SEO. This will automatically generate article meta tags and create sitemaps. The plugin has many more functions, but will not use them for the reason that they can create an extra load on the server. Install and activate. Launch Wizard will open. Let's choose blog or news channel at your discretion. Leave the rest of the items unchanged. Save and continue. Let's choose our user. You can fill in the fields of social networks. Let's check the boxes for how I do it. We have a free version, so we'll leave only search apparents and sitemaps. This is quite enough. By the way, there is an interesting option for quick indexing in the pro version, Index Now. Next, let's uncheck the boxes, since we have one author and we don't need extra redirects. You can leave your email here, but I will personally remove it, because I still won't read the newsletters. We don't have a license, so we'll just skip this step. If you have a pro version, then you will need to get a license by clicking the button. OK, finish setup. Go to Sitemap Settings and disable HTML Sitemap. Let's go to the RSS Sitemap section and disable it too. Now we need to go to the article page and check the meta tags generated by the plugin. OK, we see that everything works fine. Automatic site speed increase. Now let's install the caching system on the site. This will allow our pages to appear on the screen pre-generated so that your server doesn't have to regenerate the pages each time they are open. In fact, the page cache is one ready-made file with the page's HTML code. We go to the plugins and click Add New and write Cache in the search. We need WP Fastest Cache. It's very simple, user-friendly and has some very important features. Install and activate. Go to Settings and enable caching. The function of pre-creating cache files is extremely important for us. Because almost all caching plugins delete all cache files every time a new blog post is posted, in fact, nulling all the work done by the caching plugin. And we would like our pages to be in the cache for as long as possible, and the cache of each page is updated separately according to the schedule, without deleting the cache of other pages. Enable preload and configure. Let's check the boxes. I don't select tags, because there are usually a lot of them and this can make the process of generating a cache difficult, but you can enable it at your discretion. In the Pages Per Minute field, we'll put a number based on the potential number of articles on the blog. For example, if we have 1,000 articles, in order for the entire cache to be updated every hour, we need to divide 1,000 by 60, that is, approximately 17 pages per minute. If there are 100 articles, then 2 to 4 pages per minute will be enough. Check the boxes for Minify HTML, Minify CSS, Combine CSS, Combine JS, GZIP, Browser Caching. This will significantly reduce the page load time on the visitor's side and press Submit. After some time, we'll check the blog under the administrator. It's clear that the pages are loading slowly, since the cache is usually specially disabled under the administrator. Let's log out or switch to incognito mode or to another browser. Wow, you can see that the pages literally fly, this is what we wanted to achieve. Now we can add new content sources for other categories and import them into our blog. And be sure to follow the daily publications of content. So, summing up, our blog works completely automatically. Unique articles are published to the blog themselves, and SEO tags are created automatically. The site's fast theme and cache enabled ensures a great user experience and Google love. We can only enjoy the work done and make sure that the content is published daily without omissions. In the meantime, the blog fills up automatically, we can leisurely write our own long read articles as we have free time. Thank you for watching this video until the end. I really hope that you will achieve great results, such as those that we will show in next videos.